And just like that, we're back. Welcome back to the load up, guys. On this channel, we talk about anything gaming related. Today's panel, per usual, the usual suspects. On this side, we have Alan, aka Apollo, and of course, the lovely Scott, aka Triggers. And of course, the one and only Bioki the Second. You guys ready for today's topics? Of course. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So, what we have for today is Square Enix. So, recently they announced that a new Kingdom Hearts game is coming. Uh, this is this is a pretty unique uh, take to it. Not a very unique, but you know, it's a different approach. This game is like is like I said, is not going to be like the other regular King, Kingdom Hearts games. Yeah. So what they're doing is is they're they're doing a rhythm game. So this is called Melody of Memory. Oh wow. Which is a rhythm game. And they're actually going to be releasing this for the Xbox, as well as PlayStation, as well as the Switch. So, you know, with this being the first entry to Switch, um, you know, Kingdom of, Kingdom of Hearts is such a, an iconic game, you know. has yeah. a large cult following, um, you know, a lot of, a very big fan base. Yes, it does. Um, but, how, however, since most Kingdom Hearts games are RPG, um, how do you guys think that this is going to affect their fan base with them switching to, like, a, a rhythm-type game? I don't think it'll affect them. I think it's probably going to help them in some sort of way. Because they're reaching out to another audience, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like people who don't play it, but they're going to pick up this game because it, it just looks fun, too. Um, yeah, I think it's good for them. I don't see anything. Is this, is this the first game? I th feel like it's the first game that's on every single platform, including Switch. I can't think of another one. Yeah. Which is pretty impressive. <clears throat> that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, maybe, well, I guess maybe besides Fortnite, because Fortnite's on Switch, right? Is it really? I don't think so. No? Is it I not? don't know. Fortnite is definitely on Switch. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, okay, then Fortnite. Yeah. All right. But that's it's but still, it's still pretty, pretty cool, cool that yeah, they're, yeah. they're, like, doing it across all platforms. Because being on Switch is, like, that's that's kind of exclusive, almost. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean. So, I think I think it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. It looks cool, too. I like it. No, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're definitely reaching the, the fans, you know, fans who, like, um... Those type, type of games. games, yeah, I like it. It's cool. It, it really, it's interesting. if anything, it would make the 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 pe people grow the fan base more, bigger. Yeah. yeah, it really reminds me of um, you know Beat Saber. I don't know if you played yeah. that on the VR. It's really cool. Um, that game is crazy. It's yeah, so fun. Yeah, it is pretty good. Uh, so I, I wonder what kind of things they're gonna like uh, be. What kind of options you're gonna have within this game? Like, um, I only saw like a little bit of gameplay, uh, and I wonder whether. They're, types of game modes aren't going to be included i wonder if it's going to get crazy like you ever play guitar hero and it's just guitar like here on expert mode just insanity oh, just, yeah, definitely it's you just like, like <laughs> you can see some crazy videos like of people going ham on this stuff so, yeah. <laughs> it gets crazy yeah, yeah people definitely get pretty competitive about it for sure yeah that's what i thought of when i saw it i was like oh this is like guitar hero because you just see the uh the, the characters and the, all the notes and the thing in. yeah the notes coming in but yeah. it's different too it's creative because it's like uh enemies coming at you right. you're hitting them it's, it's not nice like too yeah because you see like all like some disney characters in there too so yeah oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's pretty cool yeah. yeah so you know they'll also be able to reach out to a younger demographic with that as yeah well. i think i see more of like uh under 13 or 13 around that age mm -hmm. type yeah. of yeah that's for everybody for sure yeah i like that do you guys think that any other any other game should include this type of rhythm mode you know i you know going back to the mortal kombat uh, one of the Mortal Kombat games where you can play like little mini games oh, for fun. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I remember a lot of the like Mortal Kombat games. Like, yeah, you had like clearly like you know where you could find everything, and then they had like these miniatures like oh, test your might and stuff like that. So, oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So, so if, I would like for for other studios to maybe develop these little like modes where you can kind of have more fun yeah. in a different way. You know, um, maybe put different characters. And, I remember and, the Mortal Kombat one where they had like Mario Kart inside of it it was like them racing oh yeah oh, them racing yeah, yeah. Wow. so like yeah egg game that was fun was that an actual that and maybe i'm thinking wrong but was it that its own game or that was that like a no that was like a mini mode. game within yeah. the it game. was a mode right yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. They're all like different because that was a whole game within itself basically yeah. yeah you know another good game that did that as well um was uh grand theft auto san andreas uh when you would like go into into the main character's house yeah, uh, you could play the, oh, the game. Yeah. And, uh, you but, know, there's several different games. Yeah, but those game. games were more like they were very. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like Atari, you know, uh, eight bit ish. Yes. They weren't. There wasn't like a whole new game in there. Oh, okay. No, yeah, for sure. 
<laughs> they kept it pretty old school. <laughs> oh yeah, well they did what they could with the that's true with the software back then. Yeah, but I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I I personally, you know, I'm interested to see. I I actually want to try playing this game because I myself have never like fully played any Kingdom Hearts game. So like, yeah, I don't really know like the backstory to be honest. But I, I you know, like you said, I know that they have like a large fan base. And, yeah. You know, there's because it's been around for a while. So yeah, a lot of people like I know a lot of a good handful of people who. Who play every single Kingdom Hearts? They go crazy when there's a new one announced. Dang! Like I know a friend of mine, like she literally cried when a new trailer dropped. <laughs> Bro, I was just like, it's just a game. <laughs> it's, just, it's not that serious. But people are just like diehard that. fans. Yeah, exactly. So, That's so cool. But yeah, I mean, I think uh, there's cool definitely stuff. a larger fan base. I would say outside of the United States. Because, like, even mm-hmm. though, like, you know, you said, like, you had a friend that, that did that. Yeah. I personally don't, like, at, a, at least in my friend circle, I know that are, like, super diehard fans. But I know, like, overseas, yeah. that, that's where their real main target is. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, uh, I believe overseas is where, where you know, rhythm games like that are, like, super popular. They're very competitive, you know, um, yeah. when people try to oh, yeah. see, see how good their skills can get when it comes to that kind of stuff. It kind of looks like you can compete, too, because they had three. In the trailer, oh. they had like three separate, three different characters, lanes. Yeah, mm. so that'd be pretty cool if you like. Oh, like you're falling behind, yeah, and like I, I don't know exactly how the game works, but it looks like it was multiplayer. Yeah, maybe you could do it online with your friends and stuff. Oh, like that. that'd be sick. Hey, maybe all three platforms, man. Yeah, could, oh, could be on it. That'd be dope. That'd but be that nice. seems like a good party game. You know, yeah. you have a couple friends over and you just play that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It was like a good time. I kind of, I kind of wish more, more games did um, split screen like they did back in the day. Yeah. You know, kind of like uh, Left 4 Dead. You know, where you could like play on the same, uh, play on the same monitor or the TV. Yeah, and, and then you would just argue with each other like, stop looking <laughs> at my screen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you cheating. <laughs> always uh screen cheating yeah but yeah guys you know with that being said please please let us know down in the comment section what do you guys think about the new game mode is it something that you're interested in is it something that you know is not really your cup of tea let us know hey guys it's ashley and i'm here to tell you about grand lighthouse coffee grand lighthouse coffee is an e-commerce business that sells certified organic fair trade coffee either whole bean or grinded chemicals do not touch the beans and the farmers who grow the green coffee are paid and treated fairly Coffee beans are made to order, so you will get freshly roasted beans no later than seven days after being roasted. Grand Lighthouse also provides memberships for families and businesses depending on how much coffee you purchase per month. For more information and updates, follow and like them on Instagram and Facebook at Grand Lighthouse Coffee or visit their website at GrandLighthouseCoffee.com. Thank you guys. So in other news, Lucasfilm and EA have announced their new game, Star Wars Squadron. And it's set to release around the 2nd of October uh, for all the platforms. Uh, this game will, will be a five, 5v5 multiplayer. The game will, nice. will have a storyline. Um, that And it's supposed to take place sometime um, after the Return of the Jedi. Okay. The, the game will feature aircraft uh, customization. So, you know, people, uh, they'll be able to get to choose... If they want to play on the Republic side or the Imperial fleet and things like that. Um, and, you know, obviously we know, you know, the, the record that they had in the past yeah. with the past Star Wars game. Mm. Um, do you guys think that this game will entice people, you know, to come back and, you know, give it another chance and fall in love with the game and franchise <clears throat> oh, yeah, again? Of course. I mean, their last game was really good. It was a storyline and I mean, it was really good. Um, Which one? Battlefront? <laughs> no, not Battlefront. No, that wasn't no, the last one. I was about to say. The last one was uh, uh, Fallen Jedi. I didn't play. Oh, I yeah. think I remember, but I didn't play it. That one's really good. I mean, storyline was great. People loved it. I mean, they're, they, they're definitely coming back. So with this, I'm wow. pretty sure they're, they're taking that mindset, that positive mindset, positive reviews. And uh, the uh, whatever happened with the other games left in the past, I think they're focused on, especially, you know, like I said, like Lucasfilms and everything. Like, they're, they're really going to try to listen to it. Yeah the people this time that's pretty cool i mean i like that they're they're switching it up on this one i love the idea of it's like five versus five yeah i feel like it will huge i feel like it's gonna be really competitive like it might become its own esport but i haven't seen any gameplay but if it's really good Mm -hmm. it might be that level Hmm. 
That's interesting. Yeah, you know, I, t- I totally agree with what you're saying. You know, they, they definitely made up um, for the blunders that they had with uh, Battlefront. Yeah. Uh, thanks to the last game. So I feel like if they really are focusing all this attention on, you know, being able to give like a really flushed out storyline. Yeah. And, you know, really uh, giving people what they want as far as like customization. Um, they're going to be able to keep the ball rolling. And I think they are going to be able to get a lot of people to come back to them. Uh, you know, some of the fans that they lost. During the the the, the battlefront, the <laughs> battlefront era, all that for sure. Um, and you know, obviously, with that being said, you know, like we said, they had a lot of backlash. How how do you guys think they're going to be able to keep up with all these positive reviews to keep these positive reviews coming in? I mean, just paying attention to what people want. Yeah, what people want. I mean, Squadrons again is already different what than what they're used to. So they're doing something right, and they're doing something different. So yeah, I think it's going to work for them. The Battlefront thing, and everybody, <laughs> everybody talks so much smack about that game. Yeah, yeah, they definitely, yeah, you know, like you said, they, I feel like they definitely learned their lesson from that, and you know, that's that's important for a company to grow. You know, if they want to be able to maintain their customers happy, you know, you have to really take into consideration what the player base wants and and accept that feedback, that criticism, mm-hmm. yeah. and be able to really build on that, for sure. Um, and it's funny that you mentioned about them becoming an uh, an esport. You said you feel like they they can actually become an esport if it's a really good game. If it's just like a regular, they didn't really put too much into it. It's not so competitive or whatever. But for some reason, I have a hunch that it's like it's gonna be really like fun, uh, and it's gonna be very uh, like competitive. Like you you're mm-hmm. gonna be able to have teams. I mean, what is it? Five versus five? Yeah, five versus five. That sounds so cool. Like, I want to see the maps. Yeah, I want to see... Because if there's one thing I've always liked about the Star Wars game, it's definitely the maps. Mm. Um, you know, they're very aesthetically pleasing. They they go really well with, like, the... You know, with, with within the world of Star Wars. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that, that's one thing that they've always had really going for them. Yeah, and they can just make maps. Endless supply yeah. amounts, uh, maps, because it's just space yeah, you know we'll, you have all these different planets all these different galaxies right or whatever. yeah well clear, yeah i mean they're gonna have a lot of a lot of uh areas where you're, you're, you're gonna know exactly where they are um and many different ones too probably mm-hmm. be just because yeah. of the fact that it's in between it's right after uh return of the jedi mm-hmm. um will it be its own esports i'm not sure i doubt it because it's 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 not easy for yeah. games to yeah. get into esports like that but yeah. i do think it is going to be very competitive uh I'd, people i just think that it game. would be very um like, why wouldn't you want to become a game that becomes an eSport event? Well, if I it, think that's a lot of game uh, developers, like... Um, mission? Yeah, exactly. Like, something like that. But oh, if it was easy, then everybody would be doing it for every game that would come out. They would be like, okay, look, if it's... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. EA's doing something right. I mean, yeah, like, FIFA is competitive. Yeah. Um, It's got its own thing. It is EA, yeah, too. It is like, EA. If there's anybody who can do it. Right, yeah. I'm, but uh, EA Star Wars, plus I mean, Star Wars? I don't know. I mean, is this the, I don't know if this is the first EA Star Wars collab, like game. No, 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 <laughs> no. no. Were I mean, the, all the other ones too? Oh, Battlefront was. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Made all those okay. games. Yeah, yeah um, they're they're partnered up with them. Yeah, yeah. So so with Battlefront, like if anything would be esports, then I would be I would be like Battlefront then, right? Because yeah. it's clearly they didn't go, it didn't go right for them. Well, I don't think Battlefront Two was much better. Yeah, and then again the next one after that was was good yeah. it was actually great so uh, like i said i think they're they're stepping in the right direction they're going forward they're going you know top but it seems like they're trying to step in that direction cuz yeah. i don't it doesn't seem like they're just throwing out games just to like we got these games out here now it's like they're trying to establish themselves in the gaming market as much as they can and they already have but i really do think they're trying to get deeper into it be known as one of the important games out there oh you're talking about for star wars yeah star oh, I mean, wars yeah, in general they're, they're the only ones that are developing star wars games mm-hmm. so yeah definitely and i love that it's yeah. it is vr compatible which is cool oh, that's, 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 that's nice cool. that's interesting <laughs> shoot you'd be submersed in the world just like, yeah, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I don't i don't know if i'm feeling that it'll become an esports title i think so I mean, you know, like then again, I'm, I'm just. I think like, Pac-Man has. <laughs> has a hey, much more. Dang, I think Pac-Man uh, could be coming in sports. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, he's, I mean, he's right though. Like, it's such a competitive we'll like field to get into. Like, but what other game? No, does you're that? right though. We will see. Yeah, because again, it is it is different. It's Squadron. Yeah. Um, 
Who knows? You it's not another point. shooting it game. Is not an, yeah, it's not. That's what I'm saying. It's so yeah. different. It could be. It's a whole different thing. Uh, the only thing you can think of that's similar is Star Fox. Mission right, yeah. complete. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have to be open-minded. And I, and I think, yeah, in a way, would I be surprised? No. Yeah. Not if they, you know what I'm saying? Not if... Uh, they really take that back. Out the park. If they, yeah, if they do release it for for competitive esports, I'd be very surprised. <laughs> yeah. But again, then again, we haven't seen any gameplay, so we don't really know yeah, what it's like. True. So who knows? I mean, I'm just throwing like a yeah, 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 ideas yeah. out there. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean it's like, a good idea too. I mean, I mean, what Star Wars fan wouldn't want to compete right in competitive yeah. gaming? Yeah. I mean, shoot, if they're saying, "Hey, what do you do?" Oh, I compete in Star, Star Wars. <laughs> Squad, <laughs> you know, yeah, squadrons, or you know, I'm a, I'm a pro player for this particular game hey, so but it sounds on, cool but, I, but not gonna lie though um, you know I feel like a Star Wars e- event would be pretty hyped though that's what I'm like, saying I, I think, they, just think about yeah, it. if they were if they do happen to like get into that market like yeah. um, I think that they would definitely go all out for it you know just like the whole stage battle star thing yeah. I mean just uh, Star Wars it, theme 5 versus 5 and you're just watching this match of just freaking what are they called squadrons or whatever they're just chasing yeah. after each other trying to shoot I, each other out i can see it that's basically what call of duty is it's like you got a team on the team and they're all trying to take each yeah. other out yeah. it's the same concept but it's just now they're flying <laughs> yeah i mean i guess you know like you said ultimately we're just gonna have to wait and see ultimately the crowd decides if it's gonna <laughs> yeah. have enough basically yeah. yeah if it's gonna have enough fan support to elevate it to that to yeah. that status and, you know, there's a lot of competition. But, hey, you never know. They might crank it out the park. Like, you know, they did a really good job the last you game. You never know. For yeah. sure. That's true. But who's competition in this? There's no other game doing this type of thing. I can't think of one. What do you mean? Like, what, like, what do you mean? Like, 5v5 L- or like, like what? Well, 5v5, but it's vehicle. It's not like a shooting game. You know what I mean? It's not, it's yeah. not the like same format. Like, all in vehicles? Format. Yeah. Hmm. I can't hmm. think of anything like that. Hmm... Yeah. Death Race? <laughs> oh, what's that old game? <laughs> Not Death Race. <laughs> <laughs> Death the movie? Race. My bad. <laughs> movie Death Race. What's that old PS2 game? I don't even remember, bro. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? Was it about? Ratchet and Clank one? No, no, no. I look dumb right now. Um, no, no, no. You're talking about Twisted Metal. Yep. Uh, That's what I was thinking of. Death nice. Race. <laughs> Death Race. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to just put the Jordan crying meme on my face right now. <laughs> <laughs> But that game. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you know, it's yeah, like you said, you I, have a point. He, he does have, have a good point. point. So I, I think it's great that they're obviously, obviously, it's a no brainer to be able to uh, let people do tons of customization. So yeah, I, I'm just cool. interested to see That'd like just, cool. just how far yeah. in debt you can customize those certain things, like their whole ship. What are you talking about? Or their teams? No, like their ships and stuff. Yeah, That'd be so cool. Yeah. It's like, like most wanted. Like, is it gonna be something like you know, throwback to like the the modern warfare era when you can like design your own like uh, symbols and stuff oh. like that? Like, I I want to know how in depth you can get into this. Cu- it's gonna be like Need for Speed. You're just yeah. like customizing, yeah. getting neon lights and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like like I want to know if it's like something in that direction or is it more of like oh you have to pay to get certain colors for for probably the ship. Or, probably a bit know. of both. A little bit of both, yeah. Because yeah, like I mean, they're definitely going to have some kind of in-game transactions, or it could know. be like uh, classes, kind of like how Call of Duty has like marksmen and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's most likely what's going. Yeah, you rank up, and you, you get unlock unlocked certain things. certain things to customize your your ship. So, man, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I hope I'm, I'm excited to see the gameplay. Well, I mean, yeah. For sure. Uh, let us know down in the comment section, guys. Uh, are you guys excited? How big of a Star Wars fans are you guys? You know, is, is this something you guys have been looking forward to? And do you guys think it eventually will it have enough hype to bring it, elevate it into esports title status? We'll see. Who knows? Who knows? So, in money news. Fortnite maker Epic Games is now supposedly reaching an evaluation at about $17 billion. That's that's a lot of guac. So, you know, to be able to put that in, into perspective for you guys, um, in November, Forbes valued the entire National Hockey League at $21 billion. Okay? Fortnite's at $17 billion. Hockey. And the Major League uh, Soccer is only $7.5 billion. So, you know, in the in the, in just three years that Fortnite, you know, it just goes to show you that in the last three years, just how big Fortnite has gotten, just how massive it's gotten. Um, does that like, it, it's crazy, you know, when I'm, when I'm trying to put that into perspective, I can't believe that this game alone is like worth more than the Major League Soccer. Wow. 
Like oh. the, the evaluation is is crazy. You know, it's hard to yeah. an industry that's been on. on around for what like forever, basically soccer. <laughs> yeah, and just three years they've they've been able to catch up more and than pass. double. Yeah, that's insane. How do you guys think uh, this the, they were able to get to such a place? You know, with with Fortnite, they they scrapped every other project that real gamers loved and decided to focus on. Uh, one single, one single video game. They put all their efforts and into put all the thing. efforts into that, and every other thing they scrap. Their and cash cow. Yeah, what do you mean? There is no Unreal tournament anymore. Yeah, they did. They, they scrapped that. that. Uh, Gears. I don't even know. Yeah, like, that that's... franchise pretty much just got left for dead. Um, Gears. Gears of War. Yeah, what? Gears of War. Oh, really? Yeah. Was Gears um, of War EA? I mean, um, Epic? not EA. Epic Games. Really? Wow, I did not know that. You just blew my mind. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, they did kind of like try to put all their eggs in one basket, but I mean, obviously it paid off though. Oh, it did, yeah, it did pay off. It, it, it obviously right paid off. off. It was the right yeah. move. Yeah, but you know that kind of just like it just kind of leads you to leads you to think like, okay, so if they put all their effort, time and effort into this one game, well then, yeah. how are they gonna like? Is this gonna be a one hit wonder kind of game? Like, how are the, how's anyone yes. supposed to follow this up? It is gonna be a one hit wonder. The only thing they can do now is really seasons, and extra add-ons, and they can buy out celebrities to play their game, and they'll be hyped it. for a week or two, and then yeah. and then uh, streams will be going down again. I mean, that's what's gonna happen, and something eventually is gonna kill this game anyway. Have another s- another free to play game most likely yeah. is gonna kill this game. But have we ever seen a game that came in so strong? And is that is at this level? Uh, maybe Minecraft. Mm. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's games that have really, you know, that have touched people in yeah. a different way. Um, just because of what's going on now with streaming and how much spotlight it's gotten. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, think about it. If uh, if uh, when Drake played with uh, what was it Ninja? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean. It wouldn't have blown up as much as it did now. Is you know, yeah. it, there's certain things that made this all this play out perfectly for them. Clearly, which is awesome. I mean, they're, they're you know they they're tanning yeah. what they're doing. Mm-hmm. I mean, because so. something brought Drake, something drew drew Drake to the game. Yeah, that, money. That's a, money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah money. They paid money. Yeah. They paid the man. Okay, you think you think this money. man plays Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this man's got no, other things no. to do. No, way. that's true. That's possible. The man's too busy to be playing Fortnite, but that money talks. So uh, you don't think the game just had so, like just had hype around it in general? No, I mean there was already a fan. There was already people playing it. I mean there was already like it was already people when they came through with when celebrities came through. Yeah, yeah, it clearly it was like, oh, what is this? You know what I'm saying? People who didn't want, didn't play or do anything, then they step into it. Clearly, yeah. Mm. So, but it was there is already fans that enjoy playing this game. Mm. Probably, I wonder what the uh, like the original people that like the original fan base that loved. Fortnite when it was what what it was before mm-hmm. before it became a um, mainstream game right like it is now uh, I would I would really want to know what they think because they're they're probably know exactly how the game started because it wasn't this type of game before you yeah. know and so it was completely different so it's wow. interesting but yeah I mean dude those those seasons you know each season gets crazier and crazier I don't even know what season they're on right now yeah I, I haven't so played cheap. Fortnite since like season two or season three. <laughs> So, yeah. you know, it's, it's, you know, we talked about this in the past, you know, in one yeah. of our past videos, we, we talked about how, you know, they're able to like stay relevant within pop culture and the media, um, because, you know, they innovate a lot, but because they got that money. Th- yeah, exactly. But you know, what happens when, when eventually it, it comes to a halt because, you know, a- every empire that's ever existed in the world has fallen eventually, mm-hmm. you know, hmm. and eventually, you know, like you said, it might be another free to play game that's going to come around and knock Fortnite off, off the pedestal. Crucible. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't about to take it. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's... it's So, that leaves you wondering, like, how is Epic Games... Like, do they have anything in the in the bank stored up that they're, you know, secretly Oh, they got on? something in the bank. I mean... 17 they billion de- worth. <laughs> I mean, they definitely should, man, because, you they know... They got the money. They definitely have the money. They have the money, yeah. but... Who but, knows? But what I'm trying to get at is that it's going to be hard to follow up that success that Fortnite mm-hmm. has for Epic Games because, you know, they... The, the Fortnite is pretty much their identity at this point. You know, yeah. when you're thinking of Epic Games, yeah. you think of Fortnite. You know, you don't think about it anymore like Gears of War, and um, what was the other one? Um, Unreal. Unreal Tournament. Um, so is it's gonna be interesting to see how they try to follow this up when eventually I feel like Fortnite will be dethroned by something else. 
I do think it's just... Did they buy the games that they're releasing for free right now? They don't buy licenses to them, right? Because I know, like, uh, Epic Games is, like, releasing GTA for free. They're releasing a whole bunch of games for free. I don't know why they're... How that works. I think I think Gears of Wars is free. I remember downloading it on uh, one of my cousin's um, Xbox. And I remember that being free to download. But I'm not sure if that's still the case. Have because they I, always done stuff like that? Where it was just free to play? Or was this like more of a recent thing? What do you mean? Like free to play games? Like their Fortnite? Yeah, games like... yeah. No, that's their first one. Like everything else you ha- you've had to buy so mm-hmm. far. You know, there were, you know, produced games. and then Do you, you think had to they buy ruined it for lunch. everybody? What, Make the free, it to play? free to play? Um, no, I think they definitely were able to set the standard because, you know, before then, uh, it was pretty rampant uh, microtransactions. And it was mm. like pay-to-win type of microtransactions. Mm. So they kind of like paved the way to show that like you don't need to make pay-to-win in order to be able to still make money. You know, they showed that it's possible to, to uh, earn money through just like small uh, vanity purchases. Yeah. How long do you think Fortnite's going to be around for? Hmm. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. Like, you know, you, my, guess. you know, Minecraft has been around for like a long time. And, uh, and it's, it's still it's popular. It's gone and it's come back. Too. Yeah, exactly. And it's still popular. Um, so does Fortnite have that playability to be able to withstand it leaving the spotlight and then coming back like Minecraft did? I'm not sure. Mm. What do you think? How long do you think it has? Lifespan? I don't know. Because I mean, it's always it's been like, around for three years. There is that saying, like the, well, I don't know exact saying, but like them gaining success so fast, mm-hmm. they'll lose it so fast. So, I don't know, maybe another two or three years. Because you know, eventually people are gonna get tired of it. You know, yeah. like even though there's updates to certain things, like it's still basically it's still the same game at the end of the day. Unless like, they do a whole other thing to it. But I like, don't know what they would do. They I do, mean, they, I mean, I guess they could focus their their attention on the other on the other modes of the game because you know there's different modes besides yeah. just just um you know battle royale you know there's a whole um i believe you got to like survive different waves of like uh enemies and stuff like that mm-hmm. and you can like build stuff um so maybe they might focus more on that i think um, i was gonna say call of duty stays around so long because every year they put out a new game right it's mm-hmm. a whole new game yeah it's a whole new game i don't know if they'll ever do that but maybe that would help them if they were to do like a Fortnite 2 or something like that. No, well, but I don't see them probably doing It's still that. in beta mode, isn't it? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's Are still in beta real? mode. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when you load in, it still says beta mode. That's insane. But Three I mean, years they in. don't really have like a reason to finish the beta mode, to be honest. Because I mean, like... It's kind of like they're like, like, meh. Eh. And so guys, with that being said, let us know what you guys think down in the comment section as far as what, what Fortnite and you know Epic Games' next move could be. You know, like I said, I I personally have stopped playing Fortnite a long time ago. Um, you know, do you guys still play it? And if so, what's keeping you guys around? Ah, and unfortunately, we have reached the end of the video. I know. Very sad, right? Um, but hey, you know how to keep the fun running? Follow us on Instagram. That's E S S I X Interactive. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out our podcast, too. You know, you can check us out on Anchor, Spotify, and Apple. We are called The Dreamcast. So feel free to check that out. It's a good time. And so thanks again to my lovely panel, my wonderful panel. You're very welcome. It's always a pleasure, guys. Make, make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on those notifications as well so, we can, uh, so you guys know when the next video is up. Yep. Much love.